Let's talk about another awesome anti-malware product and this is going to be malware bytes and this is actually a full packaged anti-malware product you can use in place of an antivirus. So they do have different versions for Windows, for Mac and for Android and they also have a very special program called the malware bytes adware cleaner which of course cleans uh, adware from your system. The unfortunate thing here though is that this is only available for PC users. I tried searching for versions for Mac, for Linux, I couldn't find any. So that's kind of a bummer if you are a Mac user. But still, the actual malware bytes software is pretty awesome. Let me jump down here to pricing, all right, and show you what they've got. So they do have a free version you can use, you don't have to pay, but this just complements an antivirus. It's not going to offer you full protection, all right? If you want to go with the actual premium version, you do have it available on Windows, Mac, Android, and this will stop ransomware attacks, prevent infections, safe browsing, and automatic protection updates. So with the Malwarebytes free version, you're only going to get the ability to clean a device that's already been infected. All right. So what you can do here is you can actually download the trial version of the premium version. All right. This will give you two weeks. All right. So all you really have to do is just on the home page, uh, just go down here to whether it's for Windows or Mac or Android and just click on the download button, all right? So for Windows, I'll click on download and automatically it will begin to download. As you can see, it's downloading right now, as you can see. So this will be the trial version, which I'm going to show you how to use. All right. So once you've installed malware bytes, this is exactly what you're going to see on your dashboard. And you can see right now I am using the trial version because I wanted to show you exactly what to expect when you use the trial version. Mine says my premium trial will end in 13 days, but that's because I installed this yesterday. All right. When you install yours, you will get 14 days, a full two weeks. Now, before I show you how to scan, let me point out a few things on the settings. Very, very important. Let's go to settings. Now, on the application, make sure that the first two options in here are turned on, which is to automatically download updates and then notify you when full version updates are available. Make sure these two are always on. On the protection, by default, on the scan options, scan for rootkits will be turned off. You want to make sure this is turned on. All right. And then finally, down here, this is not compulsory, but I prefer to have as few programs as possible run whenever I'm starting Windows. By default, the setup option for Malwarebytes is set to on whenever Windows starts. I'm going to turn this off, all right? So that this way you would have to manually turn on Malwarebytes uh, whenever Windows boots. I think I prefer it that way, but then it's up to you. You can prefer to have Malwarebytes just run automatically once Windows starts. It's really, really up to you. All right, let's now jump over to scan. So you can see right now I have done some scan in the past, uh, scan time was five minutes, I scanned over 300,000 items, I had nine threats detected and one quarantined. All right, let me close this, go back to scan. All right, so basically you have three different types of scan. You have the threat scan, custom scan, and hyper scan. Hyper scan is the quickest. This will just scan your memory to check if there are any malware and that's it. Threat scan is the deepest, it's the most comprehensive scan you can go with. So this is the one that you'd want to go with whenever you really want to scan your system thoroughly and then just simply click on stat scan. And that's pretty much how, what you're going to see once the scan begins. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and cancel this for now. All right. Let me cancel that. Now, if you have any threats detected, Malwarebytes will put those programs in a special folder known as the quarantine folder. All right. This is very similar to what you have with uh, many antivirus products. Once they find a threat that they feel can harm your system, they will put that threat under a very special folder known as the quarantine folder. So over here right now, you have the option of either deleting these items, or if you feel Malwarebytes made a mistake, then you can restore that file back. So in this case right now, if I felt uh, epm.exe was a mistake, I can simply click on the box right here and then click on restore down here and the program will be restored back to its original destination, which was the uh, downloads uh, folder. Otherwise, if you don't know what that program is, then it's more than likely to be a form of malware. So just simply allow a malware by to delete all the programs that you find on the 
uh, mal under the quarantine folder. So under reports as well, you can click on the scan report in here, click on view report and see you know, what the uh, malware bytes program found. You can take a look at the summary. You can go under advanced as well if you know exactly what it is that you're doing and what you're looking for and so on and so forth. So that's basically it with malware bytes. A question I might have here is, Alex, should I just forget about anti an, ant an antivirus and just simply use malware bytes? Well, it depends on two things, okay? First of all, it depends on the pricing. If you feel malware bytes is more affordable than an antivirus, then yes, you want to go with malware bytes. But the second thing to consider is the fact that malware bytes, even in its premium package, might not offer you as many features as a premium antivirus product will. So you might not get things like a firewall or an intrusion prevention system, for example, with malware bytes, while you might get that with an antivirus. So really, at the end of the day, it comes down to two things, pricing and the features available. Personally, personally, if you don't want to use an antivirus, malware bytes is probably the number one product I'll recommend to anyone to use in place of an antivirus. I have used malware bytes, it's very good, it works, and I would not recommend a product which I haven't personally used before. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Again, as always, if you have any questions about malware bytes, viruses, and antivirus, feel free to post your questions. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next class.